Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat, it's the Chaos Black Legion half of Shadow Spear. Stick around, the models are awesome, they're coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, let's have a look at the characters and the two elite units from uh, the Chaos side of Shadow Spear. Awesome, awesome models. Uh, you've got the Master Possession and then two Greater Possessed. Really cool models. So let's start with the Greater Possessed. Uh, I do like this chap. He's bounding forward there, as you can see, about to swipe someone with a claw or empower someone with his mutated arm there. As you can see, the rib cage all highlighted, the pipes and wires and things all done as well. Uh, you've got a nice subtle edge on the black on the black armour as well. Not too uh, close to the grey sort of uh, colour hue, just to really not you know, take away from the black. We wanted it to look very menacing and obsidian. But as you can see, it has got an edge on it, which is really, really nice and muted. The skin, lovely changing colour on this sort of uh, sunnishy kind of claw thing that he's got there, which is really cool. You've got the tongue and the teeth and the eyes all down and highlighted and uh, all the extra little bits and bobs all notched out in the relevant paintwork just to make sure they uh, they do sort of work with each other. Uh, I love the mutated feet as well on the armour, just it really adds a lot of interest to, to, the, to the actual sculpt and to the dynamic of the model as well. And you've got that lovely skull on a chain just flying back there as he's uh, as he's bounding forward. So that's just one of the greater possessed. Let's pull forward the other one so you can have a look at him. He's awesome as well. Uh, again, you've got that lovely mutated arm there, as you can see with some eyes on it, with all the eyes and details there picked out. You've got a claw there with all the teeth inside it as well. He's, you know, he's, he needs to definitely see a dentist the amount of teeth he's got on him. But uh, you've, got, you've got loads and loads of extra little bits of detail. You've got these tongues whipping out of the backpack there, as you can see. Um, you know, and you've got the extra bits of mutation all over him, both in the mouth, the jaw, and the carapace as well, and the chest. Uh, and even on the leg, there's some teeth just bursting out there, as you can see. Uh, but overall, really, really cool model. Amy's done a stellar job just you know, picking out all those details on this model for our client. Uh, and that's just the uh, the other greater possessed. Hope you like him. Uh, and then last, but by no means least, we have the Master of Possession. Awesome, awesome model. Uh, you know, the, the pose, the dynamic of it, and all the details on him are incredible. Really, really good model. Um, you've got obviously the flying cape there as well, just to aid with the sort of levitation of the model. Um, you've got the flames that are all sort of picked out to, really, to look like they're realistically on fire and burning as well and carry a lovely tonal variants. Um, you've got the glowing eyes there on the skull of the, uh, of the helmet and also on his staff as well. And then all the individual little trinkets and things all highlighted and picked out as well. Uh, you got his knife there. I love the fact that the, the scabbard for the knife is also like a horn as well. It's really cool. Uh, you got his bolt pistol in, in its, um, its holster all done there as well with everything highlighted. Uh, you got some lovely feathers around the back, as you can see. Uh, but overall, a lovely, lovely model. And this cape is really nice. The amount of uh, saturation of colour on the higher points and the contrast in the darker areas as well. Just really adding to the model uh, and giving it an extra level of depth. Uh, but overall, really, really cool character to lead your Chaos Army and uh, a great model to start in the uh, Shadow Sphere box. So there we go. Next up, we're going to have a look at all the troops and the Demon Engine and also the Mighty Obliterators. They're coming up next. Stick around. That's up shortly. So next up we have all the infantry and also one of the larger models from the force. So let's dive in and have a look. First we're going to look at the two obliterators. Awesome new models, obviously the older obliterator models have been around for quite some time and they needed a bit of refresh. Uh, GW did not disappoint and they created these awesome, awesome uh, obliterators that came with Shadow Spear. Really cool. Uh, I like the um, sort of nod to cent sort of Centurions here with this foot. It's very reminiscent obviously of Centurion armour um, as you can see here but really, really cool. Amy's on the stellar job all the highlighting work and detail work on these um, these models they're really really cool all the pipes and flesh and everything you see the sort of bruising and ready raw flesh on those areas of exposed pipe and things like that the nice glow on that plasma weapon there as well as you can see uh, and move around all the areas of metal work and, and sort of filigree details all highlighted and trimmed there as well in the various colors which is really really nice a little bit of a sort of battle damage as well a little bit of wear on some of the armor and also on some of the uh, brass or gold uh, just to show that they are you know ten thousands uh, in the, in the march if that makes sense uh, but really Really, really cool models. I'll put forward the other one just so you can have a look at him. Uh, again, he's a really, really cool. He's got more ammo there for that, uh, that sort of gun on the top than you could possibly imagine. A whole hopper there. And then we've got a flamer on one arm and a big power fist. But obviously, they uh, they can all take weapons, as um, I'm sure you know from the background and lore. Uh, and then moving around, you can see the same attention to detail on all those areas of uh, sort of skin, flesh, armor, the uh, the legs, the rods there, as you can see, the, the nods to that Centurion-esque armor, uh, which is really, really cool. So that's just the other uh, obliterator. Uh, and then we'll pull forward 
forward, uh, let's pull forward some of the regular uh, Marines from the force. Really, really cool models. Uh, obviously, they're, they're kind of multi-part, but they're kind of put together as well. So they're a nice variation between the two, a bit of a hybrid, but really, really nice models. Exceptional detail on all of them. Uh, as you can see, they've all been fully, fully highlighted and all the lenses and everything on the face mask have all been picked out as well. Let's just forward another one from the squad here. Really, really cool. Again, nice, subtle highlighting there on the black armor to keep them dark and obsidian, uh, which is really nice. And nice complementary colors of red as well that we've got on here. As you can see, he's got a very angry face on him. <laughs> uh, you've got that plasma glow there on the plasma pistol as well. Uh, but all the areas of detail work fully, fully picked out as well. Uh, which is really nice. And then we'll pull forward the auto cannon, so you can have a look at him. Again, all the lenses and everything there, picked out point of light source and highlighted with all the transfers as well that have been done on them, all the buttons, dials, and bits and bobs picked out and highlighted. Uh, so that's just the auto cannon. Pull forward uh, the last of the bolter wielding guys from the right hand side. Uh, again, he's just uh, marching forward there on the eternal march, uh, which is really cool. So that's just him. Uh, and then move across to the other squad. Again, we've got another dude here with the bolter, but he's got a combat weapon out, so I stuck him with the uh, the rest of the combat kind of guys. Uh, moving around there, just so you can see all the highlighting work done on the black, the pouches, chains, guns, gold, everything there, uh, which is really nice. A nice, clean, above tabletop model. Um, and then we'll pull forward a guy here, going forward. He's really cool as well. I like the subtle amount of chipping and weathering on some of the metal work as well, and some of the armor, which is really nice. I think he's done a good job on that. Uh, the other dude with the chain sword. Just so you can see him, and he's just about parrying something there or something, just ready to whip someone with his pistol, probably. And then the central dude, the last dude with the chainsaw. This is probably my favourite pose from the, the models in, this, in the Shadow Sphere of the Chaos side. I really, really like him a lot. So that's just him. Move around just so you can see all the areas of detail. And then we'll look at the uh, plasma wielding guy as well. He's really, really cool. Uh, about to make someone's day very bad. Uh, with that lovely orange glow plasma as you can see there but you've got all that subtle edge highlighting inside the panels and all the filigree on the, the armor and all those areas all highlighted as well which is really cool and then we'll put forward the demon engine which is a really really cool model uh, look at all the detail on him he's absolutely caked uh, those front talons are ready to scythe people in half and give someone a very bad day and you've got all the flesh work and everything on there as well all highlighted and i love the glow that amy's put on the sort of the engine part at the back uh, those lovely glow parts here are just really really cool you've got all that flesh work as well done there really red and raw as well the uh, tonal variance on that skin is lovely uh, all the skulls and everything picked out you've got all the teeth individually all highlighted as well in there plus obviously all the lenses on the front are all picked out and the tongue and the teeth inside the mouth as well great combination of flesh and uh, and, and sort of demon and uh, metal sort of demon engine as well which is really nice so that's just him awesome awesome model uh, great starter set for, for the chaos side as well if you are interested in picking it up uh, yep yeah, so up next we're going to see all the army in its glory again stick around that's coming up shortly So thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you've liked all the chaos goodness in this Black Legion half of Shadow Spear. Uh, I know that Amy had a great time working on it. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege of an army, character or a small force, then please feel free to get in touch with us. You can do that by heading to the description of this video and there's a link there to the contact form of the Siege website. Uh, click on that, it will take you to the contact form. All you need to do is select the relevant drop down options for your commission from all the options available. Then in the message section, as per the, the sort of list format that we have on there, put your list of models, fire that off to us and we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. Uh, as always, all the other links to our social media, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook can be found below. Please give us a like and follow on those respectively because uh, we do update those regularly every day with loads of different content that goes up in different projects, competitions and loads of other things. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, a couple of things. Give us a subscribe just so you can keep up to date with everything that happens uh, on the channel, new videos, new content. If you hit the bell icon, then you will uh, obviously be updated of all the new things that come up on the channel. And finally, please give the video a thumbs up because we really appreciate it and uh, it's good to see you guys if you like the project. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.